Today we are going to present an interesting case of a young adult 43 years male who presented with history of right upper limb and lower limb weakness acutely suggestive of a query a hypertensive episode or a CVA. He underwent an MRI and carotid Doppler which showed that he had a huge acute thrombus in the left common carotid extinct internal carotid artery which was documented by carotid Doppler which showed a block of up to almost 70 to 80 percent as well as a very minimal flow and it was also documented by MRI which showed that there was a thrombus in the MR angiography as well as multiple lacrimal infarcts and a small plate in the right in the left uh, basal ganglia suggest you of a right upper limb and lower limb weakness following this we discussed with the patient and opted for a carotid in arterectomy since it was an acute thrombus and it was in a young patient and thrombus which is acute is slightly relatively contraindicated for a carotid stenting this shows the patient position with a neck extended and lateral rotated. After this initial dissection and incision along the anterior border of sternocular mastoid and later extending to the sternocular mastoid, the fascia which is divided and then entered the carotid space with the dissection and laterally uh, dissecting away the super, uh, uh, sternocular mastoid as well as entering the space. Then, internal jugular vein is dissected away from the common carotid and even the internal carotid artery and the common carotid artery, external carotid artery, all are dissected away such that we can get at least 2 to 3 centimeters of the ICA and ECA away from this one. You can see here that umbilical tape has been put on the common carotid artery internal carotid artery and external carotid artery and the branch of the external carotid artery the superior thyroid artery has been already dilated for the purpose of this one now you can see the throm incision is being made from the common carotid artery towards the internal carotid artery and a dissection is being made such so that a thrombus is being dissected away now from the wall and you can see the huge thick hard thrombus is being dissected away from the wall of the common carotid artery as well as which is extending into the internal carotid artery. Now you can see with the continuous flush of the heparinized solution as well as the dissection with the sharp dissection the huge thrombus is being removed and the wall of the remaining carotid is being washed away with the small whatever the small pieces of being remain are removed away. Now later since there, this all takes around at least 10 to 12 minutes there will be a temporary ischemia from the left side now you are taking as stuck suture at the starting of the internal carotid now you can see the wall is totally clear from the opened carotid artery and you are now started to suture the artery and you can see that a good suturing has taken place and we are now slowly releasing the uh, clamped vessel first the clamping is done at the common carotid the common carotid artery then the internal carotid artery then then the external carotid artery and when you are removing removing it is the first the external carotid artery for the back flow is seen and then the common carotid is artery is open such that any thrombus is going to go to the external carotid artery and last to be open is the internal carotid artery after doing a good suturing of the wall of this one uh, common carotid artery if this usually the wall is taken in such a way and then it is opened and look for any leak if there are leak it is repaired there with an 80 proline continuous sutures and with intermittent sometimes locking it later a uh, surgical is used or answer for or answer for closure of the common carotid artery sometimes we can use a teflon if you feel that the suturing will constrict the common carotid artery now you can see the fascia and the muscles have been approximated and the skin is being closed with particular uh, sutures with a drain underneath it post-op patient improved completely with no neurological deficits this gave a patient a permanent solution instead of an carotid artery stenting and being on for a long time anticoagulants